I was trying to quit the David Grisman group. And it took me like a year and a half to just quit. I have a hard time leaving anything, you know. Um, you know, we didn't know. I just, I knew it was time for me to go. You know, it was just one of those things, you know. I, I had ideas of my own. I had stuff of my own. I was always going to be the pup, you know, in David's dog music factory. And I was just ready to go. Mike was kind of ready to go, but, you know, neither of us knew what we were going to do or how we, how we were going to do it to just survive, you know. And, uh, you know, last thing da Mike says to me, he leaves the hotel room, you know, hey, man, I got to go. But, you know, I'm quitting the band. We're, go we're going to quit the band and we're going to make something happen, you know. It's just like, yeah, you know, and it got me through. So, and then we did quit, and then we, you know, we had our duo thing, and, um, built that up, and then got the Montreux thing together. Wow. This band doesn't step out of the house unless it's international, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We so take yeah. orders for electronic equipment, too. <laughs> This is a tune of Mike's <laughs> that is on Mike's famous new album. <laughs> it's called We Three. Will Ackerman, who owned Wyndham Hill Records at the time was a huge fan of the original David Grisman Quintet. He loved that record as much as any of us did. But when Daryl did his first record, he had a duet on there with Barbara, piano and violin. And most of the music on Wyndham Hill was piano solo or guitar solo. So he came to Daryl and said, man, I'd like you and Barbara to do an album of stuff like that duet on there. Just do a whole album of piano and violin. That would be really nice because it would kind of fit into the Wyndham Hill label. It kind of happened, you know. It was, it, things were a little scattered at that point, but we managed to get Will to pay attention long enough to, uh, you know, pay a local studio where we liked working to let us go in and we cut that whole record in about a day and a half. Shortly after that record came out, Wyndham Hill got asked to do an evening at the Montreux Jazz Festival. And Will came to Daryl and Barbara and said, why don't you put a band together to come play and you can record the album live there, get whoever you want. Well, of course, they came to me and Todd Phillips and Andy Norell, the steel drum player. Daryl and Mike, of course, had the duo going on. And Daryl and Barbara had this whole duo of their own going on, which was on Wyndham Hill Records, this upcoming record label that really had a huge effect on the whole acoustic music scene. And um, so what happened was, uh, Will Ackerman got interested in Daryl and Mike in, in this idea of Sahib and what was going on. And so I left the group and they went on and, be, and from that group uh, came out of, uh, came, Montreux came out of that. Barbara and I had broken up a couple of months before and yet we were in the band. We were making this, you know, we were supposed to make this record. Um, there were all kinds of cross currents going on in the band. Um, that was a difficult point because at that point it had gone from being Sahib with David to the Montreux band without David and that particular record deal was mine and Barbara's so it's like all of a sudden Mike goes from being a co-leader to being a sideman. So there was a lot of like what are we doing you know but we had all this music you know we all believe in the same thing about music and we're going to make the work and we're going to make the music happen no matter what's going on and this is an opportunity that you know you just don't get you know you don't you know like you, a bunch of kids from the East Bay you know get to go to Montreal and make a record you know at live at Montreal okay well you know, obviously you know we're not going to say oh well you know we're feeling kind of weird maybe we shouldn't do that you know um, we had all the music and, and whoever's deal it was and whatever it was, you know, we just, you know, we're just going to put that aside and just see what happens. You know? It wasn't really called the Montreux Band, it was the Daryl Anger Barbara Higby Quintet. 
And of course, none of us thought that was a very good name for a band. And <laughs> And then we went on this weird little vacation. All of us jammed into one little rented Renault, I think it was, or Fiat. Fiat, yeah, and, um, and uh, it just drove down the Mediterranean coast and ate and drank. <laughs> yeah, we had like, I don't know, probably three or four days off. But... 